Good morning students. I am Meenakshi from Rohini College of Engineering and Technology. Today we are going to see the topic key distribution. That is how the keys are distributed between the sender and the receiver. So here we are concentrating on public keys. So either you can use any one of the methods which we are going to discuss in the previous slides to distribute the public key. or otherwise we can go for public key encrypt uh, public key encryption to distribute the secret keys so how can we distribute the public keys so here we have four methods public announcement publicly available directory public key authority public key certificates so the first one is public announcement so as the name implies here the sender or the owner of the public key distributes the public key to all the recipients or he broadcasts the public key to the community of people so example we may attach pgp keys to the email messages or we may post our public keys in news group or we may post our public key in email list so the major drawback of this method is forgery so anyone can create a false key and he can claim that this key is for someone else so this is uncontrolled public key distribution that is we don't have any limitation on number of public keys owned by the person so there may be a chance for uncontrolled public key distribution it is another one drawback the second method is publicly available directory so here we are maintaining one public directory so everyone should register into that public directory before getting the public keys so the directory should be trusted with the following properties the directory entry contains the name and the public key entries participants should register securely with the directory participants can replace their keys at any time the directory should be periodically published to all the receivers it should be accessed electronically still we have the disadvantage of tampering or forgery so that is a sends its public key for registration to the public key authority similarly every user registers their public key to the public key authority from the public key authority we can get the public key of others the drawback of this method is you can impersonate public key directory that is we can steal the private key of public key authority so from the public key authority we can get the certificates of all others so this is the drawback of second method so to overcome this we go for the third method public key authority so which is same as the previous method but here we include some more control over the distribution of keys from the directory since it also depends on the directory it has to follow the properties of directory so if anyone wants to know the public key they have to approach the directory okay and uh, they have to approach the directory securely and they have to pass the keys if needed still it is also vulnerable to tampering so this is public key authority so the same thing initiator responder and the public key authority so initiator sends a request for b's public key public key authority sends b's public key but it is encrypted authenticated person's private key similarly b also request for a's public key a's public key is encrypted with the authenticator's private key after getting each other's public key they can share their public keys with their identity and the nonces so nonces are used to find out the current transaction after exchanging the public keys okay so final public key that is b public key is encrypted with the value of the new nonce so this is what happening this is what is happening in uh, the public key authority method and the final method is uh, public key certificates so here each and every time you don't need to access the public key authority okay when we start the initiation he send a certificate so the certificate contains the identity and the public key and it also contains the rights of use validity etc 
so all these certificates are signed by trusted public key authority or certificate authority so it can be verified by any one who knows the public key authorities of the public key public key authorities public key that is using the authorities public key any one can verify the certificates so this is my method a registers the uh, its public key a registers his public key b also registers his public key certificate authority issues the certificate to a similarly the certificate authority issues the certificate to b and a and b exchanges their certificates so whenever a and b wants to communicate they don't need to get the public key from the certificate authority each and every time okay so in the certificate we have included uh, the corresponding public key so with this i am concluding key distribution thank you